Two questions, just two questions that studies have shown over a lifetime human beings have either contemplated or struggled with is number one, who am I? And number two, what am I here for? Now today I want to give you three steps, just three simple, easy and practical steps that you can apply in your life that will help you answer these two questions. And here's why I want to do that, because I know once you have the answers to these two questions, it will change your life. So let's talk about it. When it comes to answering two of life's greatest questions, the first step is changing the question. You see, the question is not really who you are. The real question is, who do you wish to become? That's the more important question. I recently picked up a book called Atomic Habits and it kind of expanded on this question of who do you wish to become? And what I love about, I mean, there's plenty of books on habits, but what I loved about this book is its correlation that it showed between habits and identity. Many of us think our identity is one thing, but here's what happens. When we sit down and we begin to analyze our habits, we quickly realize that our habits don't represent the identity we thought we had. And that's why it's important to change this question, not to who am I, but who do you want to become? By doing so, this forces you to focus on what you value. When you ask the question of who you want to become, you first have to think about what do you value? Now, I'm gonna open myself up here a little bit and I'm gonna share with you how I did this. Here's an example of how I did this and how you can do the same. You'll notice here, I took a, a list side by side. On one side, we have uh, just a blank list of lines and then on the right side, there's a list of values. I then reviewed each value, listing out the ones that were important to me, while also adding in a few uh, that came to mind that I you know, personally had in mind. Um, and here's what that final list looked like. Now your list may look very different than mine, and that's okay, because this list should represent what your values are. There's also a chance that when you sit down to do an exercise like this, that you might feel super overwhelmed at first, trying to figure out what your personal values are. That's okay. I want you to take your time with this. You might need a few days to think about which values are important to you. Take the time to do this. Don't just write down whatever sounds nice. No, really think about what are the values that you currently, um, that currently to you are important as well as what are the values that maybe in the future you want to be a part of, of who you are. All right, once you've completed your list, I want you to step back and we're just gonna focus on the first five, the top five values. And here's what I want you to ask yourself when it comes to those top five. Do my current habits, the habits that I'm currently demonstrating each day, do they support these five values? This question isn't meant to be a negative question. It's actually meant to be an awareness question. I'll be honest, when I first tried to sit down and do things like this before, I could never complete it, never. And if I did, I was only writing down the things I wished to value. It was easy to write down things that I value like integrity or honesty, etc. But I quickly realized that my habits didn't support the things I was writing down as values. I think the author James Clear says it best when he says, your identity emerges out of your habits. Every action, every action is a vote for the type of person you wish to become. So which person are your habits casting a vote for? Step number two, I want you to list out the current roles, strengths, and passions that make up who you are and who you wish to become. Here's an example of what this looked like for me. Now notice I took inventory of all the current roles and strengths and passions that I feel make up my identity. Again, your list will look different than mine, but hopefully this gives you an example of how you can begin to think about what makes up your identity. If your list isn't that big at this point, don't worry. Your list will upgrade and evolve over time. The key here is to find your starting point. 
Once you've completed that list, you are now ready for the final step, which is step number three. Step three deals with maximizing your identity by assessing your habits. Those habits associated with the roles, strengths, and passions that you just wrote down. Here's why that's important. Here we have a glass of water, a bowl, and a small towel. What do you and these three items have in common? Well, let's focus on that small towel. If you were to take a towel and dip it in the water, what would happen is the pores of the towel would begin to expand and it would expand until you maximize the fabric. Once you maximize that fabric with water, you'd then be able to transition and pour it out into that bowl. Let's say that bowl though represented the world. And let's say that glass of water represented your habits and that towel represented your identity. Those aspects, the role, strengths, and passions that you just wrote down on that list. Every time you, you practice a habit that associates with the role, strengths, and passions that you listed, you are expanding and growing that aspect of your identity. And when you begin to expand constantly step by step by focusing on the habits associated with that identity, when you begin to expand it, you will then maximize that portion of your identity, which then allows you to pour it back out into the world. And that's the most important piece, because like I've told you in previous videos, we need whatever's inside of you, whatever, whatever strength, uh, gift, identity, passion, whatever is placed on this inside of you, the greatness inside of you, we need it. The only way we can get it though is if you focus on the habits associated with those strengths, passions, and roles. So let's go back to that list you created in step number two. And you'll see what this looks like on paper. You'll notice on the left side, well, those same roles, strengths, and passions that I mentioned before, but now I want you to see what it looks like when you add in the habits associated with those strengths, roles, and passions. Now, what I did was I said, I asked myself, well, what would make a great husband? Or what, what do I find or think a great husband should be? What matters to me? And I listed out the habits associated with that. Or what would make a great speaker? And I listed out the habits associated with that. And this is important. This is a very important step because when you become aware of what your identity is and what are the habits that will expand and grow and maximize that identity, then you have a clear, a clear defined uh, plan and approach of how to answer those two questions of who you are and what you are here for. And that's a critical step because the, the ultimate fulfillment is when your habits, when your habits become a part of your identity. That's when you begin to see and experience life purpose. So here's the recap. First step is to change that question from who am I to who do I wish to become? This will lead you to defining what you value, which creates a, a foundation for everything else. Once you define what you value, the next step is to list out those aspects of your identity. Those things that currently make up your role, your, your passions, and your strengths. And once you do that, you get a nice picture of what your current identity looks like, as well as adding to that what you wish to become in the future. The last and final step deals with maximizing the role, strengths, and passions that you just listed. And you do so when you focus on the habits associated with those role, strengths, and passions. Okay, hopefully by now, you feel a lot more confident when it comes to answering those two very important questions of who am I and what am I here for? Now, my goal with this is to add value to your life. And I believe with those three steps we discussed today, very practical and simple things you can do, I believe that will add value to your life, but it, it will take you, and I encourage you to take some time and really dive into these three steps. Turn off the distractions, get alone somewhere where you can really focus in and don't worry if you don't have all the answers at first. That's okay. This will be a lifetime journey. My, my list of identity right now won't be the same 10 years from now and neither will yours. But the important piece 
is to get started right now and bring some clarity into defining who you are and what you're here for. I know exactly how it feels to kind of walk through life in this gray area, you know, not really feeling any motivation or, or feeling like you know what your purpose is. And I don't want you to have to go through that. So here are three clear steps that you can take to avoid that and start to live out the great purpose that is inside of you. And like always, I want you to remember something very, very important. And that's this. Success is your destiny.